Hey everybody. This is the Pearl of Wisdom show that I tell you about in my videos. We are going to now just go for about 45 minutes talking nothing but expansion. What Ron Francis will do. How will he build his team? We, we're, we're not, it's not really a mock draft as much as just ongoing discussion about who uh, Ron Francis will get. And this is the kind of stuff we do on our show. I got people in the chat here. You can come in the chat 3 to 5 Eastern, 5 days a week, Monday to Friday. We do this kind of frolic and they have good times. Okay. Who is it? Somebody just put in here that uh, uh, that Ron Francis is going to start out with goaltending. He's going to build through defense, then through center, then through wingers. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what goaltenders will Ron Francis pull out of the free agent market because that's likely where I'm where I'm gonna where we're gonna get it. Just one second. Sorry about that, somebody knocking on the door. Okay, let me try this again. We are going to, to the, this is the Pearl of Wisdom show. I'm going to, I'm clipping this out, going to put it out as a video. We're going to talk Seattle expansion, who they may get for, uh, Ron Francis has come out and said he's going to start building from the goaltender, then the defense, then the center, then wingers. Okay. We're going to look at free agents he might pick up, how he might build the team, we're going to look team by team, and this will be continuous. We're not going to be able to do this all in a half an hour, but this is the stuff we do on our channel, so I'm, send, I'm going to send it out to everybody to see the kind of thing we do. We got lots of people in the chat here, and they're going to be telling us to, uh, they're going to be helping us go who they think is going to be available and all that kind of stuff like that. First of all, we're going to go down to the free agent list, and you know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to bring our window capture up and we're going to look at the free agent list. Uh, Cause I think he's going to sign a free agent goaltender right off the bat. That's the, I think the first thing he's going to do that Francis is going to do is find a goaltender. I don't think there's much for goaltenders going to be available besides Drigger. And I just have a feeling that he's, he's going to want somebody a little more, for sure, than Drager. So let's look up free agents, NHL free agents. We'll look at just goaltenders. Can you guys see that all right? What the heck? Oh, Grubauer. What if what if they scooped Grubauer? All positions. I don't I I'm pretty sure that Avalanche will be uh signing him, but they haven't signed him yet. They probably have a deal in the works already. So they could try Frederick Anderson if they think he's not injured, but uh I, I Linus Allmark again. I'll go back to Linus Allmark. That seems like the guy that they're gonna. He's younger. I think it would be good for Linus Allmark to go to a expansion team like this. He'd almost be surely be the number one goaltender. Uh, that sounds like something that they would do. And then they would try to get a veteran. They'll probably get the veteran through the expansion draft rather than free agency. But Linus Allmark is a guy that I peg to become a Seattle, and I hate that because I'm an Oilers fan, and I want him to be an Oiler, but Linus Allmark is the guy that I would say.
what do you guys think? Do you think he goes, uh, well, Tuka Rask isn't going to go to expansion team. Pekka Rene, maybe. I mean, but, I mean, they're not going to use him as a number one. Rant is too injured all the time. Rant is too injured, though. Wedgwood would be a good third guy. Do you think he's going to go with Morazic because he knows him from Carolina? Well, he didn't know him in Carolina, though. Morazic wasn't there when he was there, I don't think. I don't think it's too injured, though. If Ranta gets a contract, it's going to be like for nothing because he's injured way too often. I could see him going after Laurent Brassois as a backup, but I think more than likely they'll go. Uh, they'll go for. Uh, they'll find their other goaltender on the free agent list or on the in the actual draft. And who would that be? Um, th you know what? Maybe not. There might not be anybody. Oh, how about Gorgiev? Gorgiev. Dridger, Drigger, Gr Gorgiev from the Rangers. I think he'll go. That would be a good platoon. Gorgiev and... Linus Allmark, and whoever wins the number one wins the number one. Because as of right now, the Rangers got to let Gorgiev go, and I don't uh, – let's look at the Rangers, see what what kind of guy he would pick up there. Uh, they, they don't have to protect too many players because most of them are uh, – Second round picks. Can you guys see that all right? Hopefully you guys can see that all right. Uh, they got to protect Panarin, Zabonijad. Uh Buknevich, I believe, is a, is a restricted free agent, so they could protect him. Strom is an unrestricted in 2022. Two, three, four. They don't need to protect Lafreniere. They do got to protect Heidel. Five, six. See, they, there's not much left in the for them to pick. Gorgia would probably be their best bet. I don't think they have to protect Fox yet. So Lindgren, no, Truba, Libor Hajik. There's not much there. Gorgia would be the guy they would pick. Okay, let's look at some teams with good defense and who they're going to have to protect. And we'll say, okay, we'll, we'll play a little. So far, we've got Gorgiev, and we're assuming Linus Allmark will go there. I, I have a feeling Linus Allmark would be all over that. He's probably not going to, besides staying in Buffalo, Linus Allmark probably will not get a better number chance at a number one spot, except for maybe the Edmonton Oilers. Where would I rather live, Edmonton or Seattle? I would say Seattle. Vanacek, oh, Vanacek from the Caps. Yeah, there, there you go. They could go with Vanacek instead of Gorgiev. But, okay, let's look at Washington. Washington's going to have, you can get a better player from Washington than you can get anywhere else, I think. Like a, as a player, player, I think Washington's kind of screwed. I heard that Washington may give up T.J. Oshie, and you, uh, if that was the case, I would select T.J. Oshie, and then because he, oh, he has a no movement clause though, so he'd have to waive. No, it's not a no trade; it's a minimum no trade clause. So you could pick TJ Oshie and then trade him at the deadline for some picks. I'm sure somebody would love to have him. But you might get Brandon Dillon or Justin Schultz. I'd rather take Gorgiev. And instead of wasting it on another goaltender with Washington... They got to choose between Justin Schultz or Brandon Dillon. I would take either one of those guys. 
Now, they may do something. I brought this up too. He, he may stay with the caps, and then you don't have that option. Yeah. Now, what Washington may do is say, look, we don't want Dylan. We want to keep Dylan. Let's work out a deal that you don't take Dylan. Okay. And then I could say, okay, Vanacek and they'll give you a bunch of players you can choose. Say Con Daniel Sprong. I really like Daniel Sprong. But I think Daniel Sprong, yeah, we'll say, we'll, we'll, we'll give you Dylan. You give us Daniel Sprong and Vanacek. How's that? Would you guys do that? Would you give up Sprong and Vanacek and keep Dylan? Or maybe he says, we want to keep Vanacek too. So I want Sprong. I'm going to want more players than that then. Uh, I'm probably going to want some draft picks and a whole bunch of stuff. But I really like Daniel Sprong. He put up some good numbers last year. He looked really good. Seattle's probably going to have a hard time finding offense. So maybe not a bad idea to get a Daniel Sprong. Well, it's just up in the air what he's going to be, how he's going to be injury-wise. Fred, Freddie Anderson. That's the problem there. It's... I don't know. I don't know if they're souring, but it seems that his injury problems are becoming a real problem. You think Dylan is more valuable, so you wouldn't do that deal. So, okay, what deal are you not doing here? Washington is saying they want to keep Dylan. But so we're going to say, okay, we want Sprong. How about Sprong and Sheary? Or Sprong and Garnet Hathaway? Because Hathaway is going to be unprotected. We get to choose like a, two players from their unprotected list instead of taking Dylan. So like Garnet Hathaway. Daniel Sprong and a pick, something like that. Yeah, and Anaheim took him and then they traded him for two seconds, I believe. That's Anderson, sorry for the people in the video. That's better. So Daniel Sprong. Connor Sheary, and the second round pick. To, so we don't pick Dylan. Or Garnet Hathaway. I don't know which one I would want, Sheary or Hathaway. Which one would you want, Sherry or Hathaway? I, I like. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, he's 32 years old. I don't know if an expansion team really. Possibly. I mean, they do. They are going to need some leaders there. But I have a feeling they'll be able to pick that up through free agency or. Sherry, maybe. Something like that. So we got Sherry. We got our, we got, that's two wingers. Sherry and Sprong. And we got a second round pick. Who else do we have? We have Gorgiev and we went out and got Linus Allmark for our goaltending. Now we're going to look at uh, what other teams have really good defense that we might be able to pluck some defense off of. Uh, well, Tampa Bay, as of right now, we're going to have Chernak. So that would be amazing. Uh, 
Oh, Canes, yeah. Uh, you said they're going to go Bean. So we got Brady Shea. We're just going to go with Brady Shea. Colorado and Tampa. Colorado, I don't think they have to. Pre oh, that's some news that came out today, too. Johnson is going to waive his no trade clause. So, Colorado will be able to protect uh, Colorado. Colorado will be able to protect Gerard Taves and McCarr. McCarr does need to be protected. So we're going to have Ryan Graves. We got Ryan Graves. So, so far we got Ryan Graves and Shea. That's not too shabby. McCarr will have to be protected, but Johnson is going to waive his no trade clause. So, and we're not taking Johnson. No way. We'll take Graves. So we got Graves. We got Brady Shea. Now let's look at Tampa Bay. We need a righty, though. I think Shea's a left winger, a left defense, right? We need a righty. We would have Chernak, but I don't think they're gonna they're gonna try to work a deal. But we got a lot of leverage to Tampa Bay, a lot of leverage. Like they got we, we they got Chernak out there. I want Chernak. So if they just give up Chernak, we're taking Chernak. Shea is a lefty. If we're, we'd have Chernak. And then they can, I, so, but, I mean, if they try to work out a deal with us and say, take Johnson, then I want, like, a crap load back. I'll, I'll, I'll take Tyler Johnson and Yanni Gord. Like, if I'm not going to take Chernak and I want Cal Foote, And, I mean, just on and on. And a first-round pick. And, you know, like, no, Savard's a free agent now. But if they don't do anything, I just can't see them just giving up on Chernak like that. They don't really have anybody to replace him. Cal Foot is they didn't play him much last year. Like I said, unless you work out a deal. You could get a mitful from Tampa Bay. You get, Yanny Gord can play center. Uh Andre Palat. Is a free agent after next year. Yeah, I would go Yanni Gord or Matthew Joseph too. You could ask for the moon if they don't want Ch Chernak. If they want, if they want you to cover Chernak and they want you to take Johnson, yeah, I want Gord, Matthew Joseph, and Cal, Cal Foot. And a first round pick or something like that. So let's say we got Cal Foot, Yanni Gord is our center, and we got Matthew Joseph, who I really like. He can play center too. Does that make sense? Does Tampa do that? Or do they just let Chernak go? I think they do that before they let Chernak go. If they don't, we got our right defenseman. Chernak would be our guy. Okay, let's look at, what about the Dallas Stars? 
Alexiak is a free agent right now. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, you could, I suppose. Maroon really loves it. I, I don't know. I think that would be bad for the room. He's older, too. We don't really need that. Okay, we're moving on. Yeah. Uh, Heskinen, Lindell, and Klingberg. Jamie Oleksiak, you could, if you could work out a deal to get him, that'd be good. He's a free agent, and we got a window to open. That would be our left side covered. And we'd have a pretty big D, too. Ah, we could get, we could just take Hudobin for our veteran goaltender. We could take Hudobin for our veteran goaltender. He's 35. Stephen Johns is called it a Alexiak Shea Graves Chernak. Yeah. That's assuming we can sign him. He's a free agent, so he can go wherever he wants. I know Winnipeg's going to be going hard after him. Where is he from? He's from Toronto. Yeah, I have a feeling Winnipeg's going to pick him up. Winnipeg wanted to get him like really bad in the, in at the trade deadline. But Dallas ended up keeping him. But I, I think he ends up going to Winnipeg. I have a feeling we're not going to get him. Because if, if he's from Toronto, Winnipeg's like right there. To me, it would make total sense for him to go to Winnipeg if he's getting the right amount of money. So probably not. Although the weather... As far as uh, forwards are concerned, one, two, three, five, six. Oh my gosh, they could leave a lot of people off here. Uh, Kivartan, we could get Kivaranta. Um, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I'm probably going to keep Dennis Guriana. We could get Kivaranta, Joel Kivaranta. He scored a few goals. Wouldn't be a bad winger to get. Um, like I said, assuming we can't get Alexiak off a of free agency, it doesn't really leave much. Joel Hanley, nah. Uh, a dune or somebody like that. Yeah, you could not go with Gorgiev. You could take somebody else off of the Rangers and uh, you know go with Hudobin. I think that's what I would do. That'll give you a couple, you know, a good veteran to help out Allmark become a better goaltender. He's he's worked as a 1B lots. He's only making 3.33 million. Hey, Van Hook, we're doing Seattle expansion frolic. So far, we have Shea, Graves, Chernak, uh, Matthew Joseph, um, and... Who is the other guy we got? Oh, Gord. Yanni Gord, Matthew Joseph. We made a deal with Tampa Bay. No, Van Hook is taking the Knights 4 1. Okay. And we had Ryan Graves. That would be cool. Now, I want to know, you know, there's one thing I'm not sure about is are they going to be able to trade players 
before the deadline. I imagine they will have time to do that. Will they have time to, tr will there be a window of opening for trades to trade players to other teams before the expansion draft? I don't think so though. Yeah, he was very safe though. Francis was pretty safe. He's probably going to be the same here. Okay, let's see what other teams have defense. Let's get some more defense going here. We'll we'll see if we can get our defense done. Top six done before the before we finish today. What about the Nashville Predators? They got those big three, right? Yeah, Nashville Predators could be giving up a pretty darn good player, too. Uh, they had a lot of injuries. Dante, uh, they're going to protect... Probably Alice Ekholm and Josie, right? So we could get Dante Fabro as our right wing, de right defenseman. Are they going to let Dante Fabro go, really? Yeah, Vegas is exempt. Dante Fabro. I'll take Dante Fabro all day. And like forwards, one, two. I don't think they're going to get a better forward than Dante Fabro. Five, six. Maybe you could get Rocco Grimaldi. I really like him, but if I can get Fabro instead, I'll probably take Fabro. So what would that be for our defense now? Lauren, you're keeping up. We got Graves, Fabro, Foot. Not, not, uh, you had it here. Let me check. You wrote it all down here. Oh, Shea. We got Shea, Graves. No, we didn't take Chernock. We made a deal. So we got Shea, Graves, Foot, Fabro. Is that, is that what, does that sound good to you? Take. No, we're not going to get Chernock because we made a deal to get Joseph Gord. And Alexiak, I'm assuming we're not getting, can't get him as a free agent. Because I have a feeling Winnipeg's going to get him. Nolan, yeah, foot from uh, Tampa Bay. He's a 22-year-old righty. Going to be complete. Going to be ready to play this year. Now, if they think foot is going to be as good as Chernak, we might get Chernak. I don't know if they think so or not. If they do, though, we could just get Chernak and it's over with, and then we'd have Graves, Shea, Fabro, and Chernak. That's not a bad D, man. That's a pretty darn good D so far. If we get that. All right, let's finish off. Let's get our defense done by time 3 o'clock hits. Not bad at all, yeah. Uh, Arizona won't give up too much. Oh yeah, Minnesota. That would, right now, we would get Dumba. Right now we'd get Dumba, unless they work out a deal. Just imagine that you get yeah, add Dumba to that now. Dumbo would rock. I have a feeling they're going to try to work out a deal there, but it's going to be one heck of a deal. 
If you want me to stay away from Dumba, then, I mean, you're going to have to give me a lot. I'm going to have to, I want like Matthew Boldy or something like that. I want like Nico Sturm, Matthew Boldy or something like that. He's only 26 years old making $6 million. Yeah, I'm going to want a lot. He's he's still young. He's still good. I mean, he's he's a lot better than we're gonna get out there right now. I would definitely take Matthew Dumba. Anybody? Anybody? Do you think they're gonna give up Matthew Dumba though? I don't know. If they think Kalen Allison is ready, I suppose. But I heard that they were going to try to go, okay. I heard they were going to try to protect four defensemen, keep Dumba. Well, I mean, I wouldn't take Rask over Dumba, though. No. no way. You could work out a deal where you get... Let's say they go eight skaters, okay? Say, get Zach Parise to waive his no movement clause. And I think he'll do that because nobody's going to take that, right? So, but you can only protect four forwards now. Zuccarello. Yeah, Johansson and Benino are free agents. Leave out Rask. Kevin Fiala, Jordan Greenway, Zuccarello, Fiala, Greenway, and Eck, Eck, and that would leave Hartman out. Wow. And Nico Sturm. But you wouldn't have anybody they could – that's probably what they're going to do. Hey, Hockey News reports. They are protecting Fowler. Yeah. I think they go four defensemen and they leave out Hartman. And I think that's – or and like you said, they'll probably go with uh, Rask. They'll take Victor Rask. So we got, our, we got a center in Victor Rask. They'll work out a deal that they don't take Hartman. I know they love Hartman quite a bit. I don't think they have to protect Boldy yet. That would be a problem. Has he played in the AHL long enough? No. They don't have to protect Boldy. Yeah, I think they would. I think... Uh, um. Lauren is right, though. I think they would take Rask because he's familiar with Rask, and Rask is healthy. The only problem when he was in Carolina was he had a bad injury, but he looks like he's okay. So Rask is the guy. We're not going to get a defenseman from Minnesota. Let's go to another team. New York Islanders. Somebody said New York Islanders. Uh, so for the New York Islanders, look at their depth chart. They're going to have to, they'll protect Palak, Pulak, Micah Mayfield if they protect Letty. But Letty's making five and a half. They may just want to get Letty off the books. They may leave Letty out. Oh, yeah. They just going to let Letty go for nothing? They can't. I don't think they can trade him now. So what do you go, Letty or Mayfield? I think they would keep Mayfield's a little younger. Um, oh, do they got to protect Dobson? Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, if they gotta protect Dobson, they're in trouble. I don't know if he's played enough games. Did he? Play? He's like right on the cusp. Oh, there's no way they're gonna leave Dobson out there. There's no way they'll protect Dobson before Letty or Mayfield. They'll protect Dobson. But I, 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 I don't know if he's played enough games. Let me see. Oh, Dobson hasn't played enough games. Thank you. Okay, so they don't have to protect Dobson. Okay, so then they will get Letty or Mayfield. Probably. Wow. Uh, it's actually a tough call because Mayfield only makes 1.45. But Letty is probably would have some value at the trade deadline. So would Mayfield. Which one would you do? So let Letty go. And Letty doesn't have a no trade clause or anything like that, right? Yeah, they will protect Pellet for sure. Okay, so yeah, we let Letty go. Wow, that's going to be a lot off their defense, losing Letty. Uh, we can use him for a pick later or whatever. So now we got our left side is full. And somebody said Montreal. So we'll go to Montreal. That's going to, their Montreal will have a tough time here, I think. Sherratt, Weber, Weber is, I wonder if Weber would wave. Probably not, eh? Nah, somebody, he, they'd pick him for sure. So Sherat, they're going to have to let Kulak go. We get Brett Kulak unless they work out a deal. Yeah, I would be all over Kulak if I could get him. Let's see, Did what's Kulak's contract like? Yeah, Kulak would be the guy. There we go. We filled out our defense. All right, we have too many lefties, but that's okay. We'll find a way to get some righties some other way. It's not a bad defense at all. We've got a pretty good defense. Oh, they can they can do that if they want. Resign him. <laughs> it doesn't. Who am I to say? Everything Montreal does turns to gold. So. We got our defense. We'll try to fill out our forwards tomorrow. We got about five minutes left. So, anyways, that's the way we do it here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. We worked out a defense. Let us know what you think in the uh, comment section about the players that we took. I'm sure there's more teams out there that we could pick from and more players we could pick from. This was just a fun little thing that we like to do because this is what we do. It's fun. So, that'll be our full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you, Kate. Bye. Now, I'm not leaving. No, I just finished the last. 
I just finished the last, we're going to make that into a video. I'm going to make that into a video, what I just did. All that stuff that we did, I'm going to make. Yeah, right. I got to shut off my... There we go. We're back. So that was fun. They got that would be a pretty solid defense. I, I still think they could make the playoffs. Like when you look at some of the players that they could pull out there. Yeah, they'd have to get lots of first overall. Yeah, two first. The thing about Colorado, like Graves is really good, but one thing we didn't look at is they're going to have a lot of forwards available too. Nichushkin, uh, you know, they may, because he's had. They're, they're, Colorado's going to have a lot of forwards available. I really like Nichushkin, but I probably take Graves over him. But they could even have Andre Burakovsky. One, two, three. Four, five. Junis Donskoy could be left available. Tyson Jost could be left available. Saad to Habs. Yeah, that makes some sense. Yeah, I think they might protect Burakovsky because he's only 26. Okay, we got Ranton and McKinnon, Landis Gog. Saad's a free agent. That's three. Nazim Kadri. At this point, I think I'd leave Kadri available and protect Burakovsky and Dunskoy. JT Comfer. Let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You, I, I think I'd leave Kadri available, and I still think that if you did that, they would still take Tyson Jost or Graves. If Graves is available, would you? who are you going to take? If Graves is available, are you going to take uh, Nazim Kadri, or are you going to take... Kadri back to the Leafs. Or are you going to take Graves? I think they're going to take Graves. Oh, I'm protecting Taves over Graves. No doubt about that. I like Graves, but, I mean, that's little. No. I'm protecting Taves over Graves. Yeah, I would take Graves, too. Not even a hard decision. I agree. So I would leave – now, if you did uh, – if you went – if you protected Kadri and went Dunskoy, maybe – I mean, it's hard to find shooters. He scored a lot of goals this year. And he plays a good two-way game. He scored, what, 17 goals in 51 games. That's like – it's like a high 20s goal pace.
I wonder. Colorado works out a trade with Tampa and Nashville. What would that look like? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of get what you're talking about. Like, Chernak would go to Nashville. Maybe. Is that what you're talking about? No. That would be, make that trade up and tell me what it looks like. Oh, shoot, I got to go. That's my full 42. We got her done. Uh, so, again, I'm having so much fun, I'm forgetting that what I got to do. I... <laughs> I guess that's our full 42 today, boys and girls. I'll be here tomorrow between uh, 3 and 5 again. And uh, Wednesday night, I'm going to be on uh, Off the Wall John's show. And uh, uh, remember to be looking out for the Sports, Net, Sports Desk show with Peyton on the radio and Steel. And, yeah, we'll do some more expansion draft talk tomorrow because it is fun. I enjoy it. I like it a lot. And we like to do what we like to do here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Got to go. That's my full 42. Everybody have a great day. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.